what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i want to talk more about eververse now i covered what i'd like to see be done uh, but that was a part of a video stretching out way over 10 minutes where i spoke more about other things today i'm going to go into more detail on what i believe should happen with eververse and how damn it has taken over everything we think about within destiny 2 now we all know it's the true end game it offers the best looking loot and it's basically overshadowing everything fun within the game it's one of the sole reasons this game at the moment is dying a slow death people within the bungie v forums are disgusted with eververse people on twitter are disgusted people on reddit youtube basically everywhere are disgusted with eververse Bungie have acknowledged this and said uh, this which you can see on screen now although it doesn't really suggest any changes are coming it does insinuate that they're looking into it for me eververse wouldn't really be an issue like it wasn't really within destiny 1 but the difference between destiny 1 and destiny 2 is the fact destiny 1 offered so so much more as a game destiny 2 offers very little and the true end game is bright engrams the best looking loot is locked behind these engrams and it's obviously a no-brainer, in my opinion, that this was a plan by Bungie all along. Do you think they would change anything if there wasn't a super uproar about it? Of course they wouldn't. They don't care about the small percentage of people complaining. Unless we do it within the masses, they don't give a crap. But now everyone is complaining about Eververse, they are looking into it. But what exactly do you think is going to happen here? I don't think much is going to change, I really don't. People complained about the loot contained within his bright engrams, sparrows, ghost shells, etc, etc. Bungie then came out and said that Iron Banner now will have a new set of shells and sparrows added to its loot pools. This is what will happen, more loot will become available via certain activities, but Tess in my opinion will always have her own personal stash. I just feel this is the way games have gone these days. There will always be a place we can spend money on in game for cosmetics. And in all honesty, I don't really care about such features. Such features in certain games add to them, but that though certainly is not the case for Destiny 2. This very feature is taken away from the main game. That's the issue here. Things so desperately need changing. And today I'm going to give you guys a few ideas of what I think can be done to make Eververse, well, okay. Now I have four ideas but the first ain't ever going to happen. Idea 1, remove her from the game completely and bring back Eva Levante. What actually ever happened to Eva Levante anyway? Actually we know, Eververse happened, that's it. Actually you know what, let's put Tess Everest in the middle of the tower for 24 hours and let us kick the crap out of her to earn that bright dust back. Ever played the classic Street Fighters where you had bonus rounds of kicking barrels or a car for points? Let's do that with Eververse and allow us to earn some of that loot she offers. On a serious note though, that ain't gonna happen but it would be fun wouldn't it? Yes it would indeed. Idea 2, and this is serious, would be to strip her bear of her loot and add it into the loot pool of certain activities. For instance, and this is an example, let's say she has 5 exotic gold shells. Add those gold shells into the nightfall loot pool. Add the sparrows and ships she offers into strike loot pool, giving us reason to play strikes. Add the emote she offers into the loot pool of PvP and Lost Sectors, giving us reasons to play both. Add her armors and shaders into the loot pool of prestige activities, giving us reason to play them. Now it is like I said just an example of where loot should be, but I mean if the loot is there, use it in more than one instant bungee, give us reason to play your game. And this way it wouldn't even matter if she still sold bright engrams for real life money. If the loot was obtainable via gameplay on a more regular basis than just leveling up your character and getting a single bright engram, things would be much much better for everybody. Besides maybe the deep pockets of you and Activision. You shouldn't really be trying to bleed or strive for money for the sake of yourselves. What you should be doing if you are going to bleed or strive is give us things in return. Idea 3 and that would be to make bright engrams obtainable in other ways, not just by leveling up. Why not add them into the loot pool of certain activities, actually all activities, why not add them with the same RNG drop rate as exotics, this way they become way more accessible for us players, while keeping them in place for purchase if people don't want to take that route of grinding. If there was a chance of getting a bright engram via public events, strikes, PvP and so forth, surely more people would be playing each. It's just as simple as that, it's kind of logic to be honest. Idea 4 and this would be the most ideal for me and that would be to have everything these bright engrams offer up for sale or trade 24 hours a day. Nothing should be off limit for us at any time. With this in mind allow us to trade bright dust. 
which should be available via multiple sources by the way, allow us to trade our shards, allow us to trade glimmer. Let's say an exotic gold shower costs 500 bright dust, 25,000 glimmer and 200 shards. This would in turn add to the end game for us as players. It would bring more players into the game, playing on a more regular basis and it would be great for future relations between us as the consumer and Bungie the developer. We would know with future expansions that exclusive trading loot would be coming and it would definitely add to the grind more so the community enjoy doing. At the moment there is no grind and what grind there is, it's for little reward. In turn you could leave the feature for people who do want to spend money on Brighton Grams to get a random chance of the loot if they don't want to grind a game like a hardcore player. All of the ideas I've just stated though are in place keeping one thing in mind and that is with future changes, updates, patches or whatever, the loot added to Bright Engrams and Eververse is balanced out with loot added to other game activities tenfold. Having a place like Eververse in place offering all the best looking loot and most useful loot looking at you gold showers with resource finders is not a good thing. Nothing obtainable via a Bright Engram shouldn't not be available via in game grind, it should not be the case. All of the ideas I've put forward though besides idea 1 which won't ever happen won't really affect Bungie in a way of how this game is already affecting them at the moment. Their reputation is at an all time low, people have lost faith and that's understandable. Their pockets have no doubt took a major hit too and the game is as cheap as chips. Two for £20 I saw it the other day, that for a 3 month old game made by two of the biggest gaming companies on the planet is just crazy. So the ideas I put forward won't do anything worse than what they're already doing to themselves. If anything, it will get more and more people playing and more and more people back playing. In turn, the more people that do play, the more people that will pay. That's just a fact. I was speaking to my pal the other day about all this Eververse bullcrap and the effect it's having on the game and we both said the DLC leaks no doubt were leaked purposely to try and take people's minds off Eververse because no doubt but do you think it's just a phase of the game being so dry people are just nitpicking at other features? I can and I'm pretty sure we all can reassure them that this is not the case, Eververse is ruining the game. And the leaked DLC details won't change anything, no hype train will start rolling while Tess Eververse is tied to the tracks. Actually let's hope the train starts rolling and steamrolls her and she's gone for good. I actually like that idea. But on that note guys, I am out. Let me know what you think about my ideas on Eververse. Thanks for stopping by as always. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. I'm so sorry. I, I think we should leave. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.